growth. It's what we all want. It means doing what it takes, getting up every morning and making it happen. And we couldn't agree more. Because your success is our success. At Morris Bank, we're banking on you. Thank you for coming today and we have a great show today. We're going to be talking about um, springtime and going into the summer and all the things that you can do around town, um, mainly being coming to the, the fact that the farmer's market will be opening, which I'm very excited about. I, I love going there and being able to get fresh produce. Um, I understand we're going to have a lot of changes going on there this year, and they're all for the better, of course. And we have Jeannie Krause in here today. Uh, she's the program director, is that right, mm -hmm. for, for downtown, downtown Dublin. Dublin yeah. And so she's going to tell us all the new stuff that's going to be going on at the farmer's market. Um, and then we'll, we're going to talk a little bit about the first Friday night. So, Jeannie, I, I understand that there's a lot of cool things that's going to be happening this year with the farmer's market. I'm glad to see it's growing. Yes. Oh, yes. Oh, my goodness. Last year alone, uh, I started working for downtown last summer. And so when I started in July, the growth that I see, saw just through the end of the year was incredible. Yeah. Um, it's so much fun. It's one of my favorite part of my jobs, being the market manager as well as the program coordinator. So. Right. Well, now, so tell us a little bit of what, what's going to be going on. And for those that, that may not know about the farmer's market yet or somebody that's just moved into town, mm -hmm. um, what it's about and, and, and how if you wanted to, to sell stuff there, how you go about doing yeah. that. Let's, let's give them a little information. Okay. So uh, the farmer's market at the market on Madison runs every Saturday, um, April through October. Our first market is going to be April 2nd. And the market is open for business from 730 to 1230. Um, vendors, if you're interested in being a vendor, um, we do have an application process. We pride ourselves on the fact that all of our vendors, um, their goods are either homegrown or homemade. That's very important to us. Um, so there is a bit of an application process, nothing too major. Uh, just stop by the office, talk to me or call me and I can always email it. Um, and we are going to be having a meeting next week on the 24th for those interested in being vendors. So if, if that's something you'd want to do, try and contact me before then just so that we can make sure you get in on that. Um, we, we are going to have the same great vendors that, that people have come to love um, every year. Um, mm -hmm. We've got some regulars that are just fabulous. Um, but we are adding some new vendors this year, a couple new farmers, a couple new crafters. Um, so I'm really excited about that. Um, and what I'm most excited about is a partnership that we're launching with Wholesome Wave Georgia. And that's going to give us the opportunity to accept um, EBT SNAP benefits. Um, anyone who comes to the market with an EBT card gets their dollars doubled up to $50. So if a customer comes to me with $50 on their EBT card, they're going to get $100 to spend at the market at no additional cost to them. Right. So that's going to be great for those recipients, but also for the farmers. I mean, right. they're going to reap the benefits. Exactly. And now the EBT cards, those are for the food only, not for the Yes, the they're, they're, it's limited, and our vendors are going to be very well educated on what they can and cannot accept those EBT cards for. We're going to keep a very close eye on it. Um, just to make sure that we're maintaining our integrity and that mm -hmm. we can continue to serve people. Well, the nice thing about that, too, is that um, whereas it, it's expensive, I mean, we all try to eat healthy, but I can tell you this, if you go to the grocery store and you go to buy healthy food, especially produce and yeah. vegetables and fruits, and it's expensive. It's you do not expensive. come out of there inexpensively. Yeah. Um, you feel better, but you don't come out of there inexpensive. <laughs> so it's nice that they can come and get the uh, fresh yeah. Fresh, fresh 
produce. Yeah, Wholesome and Wave Georgia um, is a great organization. They're, they're very focused on um, decreasing food insecurity in our area, and this is a great way to do it. I'm, I'm, that's a very exciting. I'm so glad yeah. that y'all are doing that. And I also hear that this year you're going to be accepting credit cards and debit cards. Yes, credit and debit cards. Um, both the credit and debit and the EBT are going to be through a token system. So when customers arrive at the market, they're going to come to our market information booth, which will be marked with a banner. Um, you're going to hand me or whoever's working um, your debit, credit card, whatever, and um, say you want to get $10 worth of goods. You prepay for $10, mm -hmm. and we give you $10 worth of tokens. They're just these little wooden tokens. Right. And you take them to the vendors um, and redeem them for goods. And what if you redeem more than you need? Do you save them for the next time? or You can, or you can turn them in and get the rest of your money. It just refunds back to your to your oh, okay. card. Yeah. So, so if you come and you, you think that you normally spend you know, 20 or $30, but you wind up spending less or more, it's taken care of. You don't have to worry about it. Yeah. Um, well, that's awesome. And I also hear there's going to be like a little kids zone this yes. year. Yes. Yeah, we're, we're going to have a kids area um, so that some of the older kids can hang out while their parents shop. We're going to have some coloring and some cornhole boards, lots, lots of fun stuff. Um, and those aren't, that's not the only activity that we're going to have available. Um, we're going to have yoga classes, live music. Um, on Earth Day, we're going to be making recycled paper. Um, we'll probably have an adoption event with the Humane Society at some point this season. Right. We did that last year and it was very well loved, so we'll be sure to bring that back. Yeah, I can't um, come that Saturday. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, it's, it's tough for sure. Um, but all of those events can be found on the Downtown Dublin Facebook page or the Market on Madison Facebook page. Okay. Um, well, we're going to take a break and we'll be back in just a second. Riverview Golf Course, located on the beautiful Oconee River, is open to the public seven days a week from 7 till 7. And you can play all day for just $25. Riverview Golf Course, opened in the spring of 1977 and has been enjoyed by thousands since. Come on out to Riverview Golf Course today off Highway 19 at Riverview Drive, just two miles off I-16, exit 54. Riverview Golf Course in Dublin, making memories every day. All right, we are back and we are talking about all the great things that's going to be going on um, over the spring and the summer here at the Marketplace. Uh, there is just so much going on downtown Dublin. I mean, they've got it going. We've got it going on downtown. Oh, for sure. <laughs> um, I am loving all the restaurants. And I've yes. noticed that they're putting outside seating. Yes, outside seating at so Company it's, Supply. So it's really, really wonderful. Yeah. It's, I'm, it's just, we're just like a little metropolitan little place down here. <laughs> it's so nice. So um, along with everything going on for the um, farmer's market, mm -hmm. we also have, uh, starting in April, the first Friday of the month. Yeah, first Friday concert series. And that's going to start April 1st. Um, our first band this year, drum roll, is Days it. After Band. Okay. They usually kick off the first Friday series for us, um, and everybody loves them. They're such a hit. Yeah. They're so talented, and their music, they, they play such a variety that it's great for everyone. That's, and that's what it's all about, too, is being yeah. able to kind of... to appeal to everybody yeah so who else do we have coming this year do you know any oh i don't know if i can release that yet oh. <laughs> we've got some great bands we're you're really gonna see the caliber of the bands for first friday continuing to step up and that's really thanks to this to our sponsors pitts toyota is on um, the presenting sponsor again this year for first friday so we're thrilled to have them back as the presenting sponsor but yes look for some amazing bands well this you year. know what we had at um the pig in the park. Uh -huh. They were they were Wes really Loper really was, well. Yes, he was incredible. I mean, I think I must have heard everybody that I walked by that was talking about. They were talking about how much they. The, the I'm band still was, getting compliments yeah, about it. Yeah, how, it's how great. It was. it was really good. <laughs> and for us to have something like not that we can't get good bands, but to have the 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 talent that we're we're having in these bands, it is amazing because mm -hmm. you can you can just go free, yeah. and watch this band and get really really good entertainment it's it's free and it's a great it's a great night a date night it's a great night to spend with your family um, great time to hang out with your friends we have a lot of tailgating at first Friday which I love yeah it's so awesome to see people so comfortable downtown and having such a good time um, we do allow coolers at first Friday um, blankets lawn chairs 
whatever you want to do, we just want you to have a good time. Yeah, I, I had mentioned, I said, you know, we could order a pizza. And, you could, yeah. And come out here <laughs> and just say, hey. You definitely could. We try to have a food vendor also every week. Yeah. Um, Holy Smokes is really excited about coming a couple times this year. We'll have Ricky Thomas with yeah. Ricky Snack Shack. Um, we try to have at least food one food vendor every first Friday. Right. Um, but you're welcome to bring whatever you like. And you, you have to stop and think about this now. There are not many places you can go, even in metropolitan areas like, like New York and Atlanta, that you can get a free concert mm -hmm. and, you know, and have, have um, the, the space and all that we have out here to have it at. And so I think that as a community, you should come out. If you, have it, if you have not been able to come to any of the first Fridays, they are a lot of fun. It's like she said, you get to see people having a good time you have them you know everybody's out there you may have people grilling over here and you may have somebody over here that's mm -hmm. you know pack some chicken to come out it's it's a lot of fun now, it starts at six or seven starts at seven at seven yeah and i i really want to encourage people to come downtown a little bit early if you want to grab some dinner at dino's or company supply or chupacabras go by the exchange check out their clothes go by smith's look at some jewelry or blacks and check out their beautiful flowers Come downtown, make a night of it, make a date night, make a family night, um, and support our local businesses. And you know, you could, if you want to come down and look, and you're not going, you want to be there right at seven, so you're not going to have time to like get a full meal. Call them ahead of time and go by and pick it up and take it down there and watch it. That way, you can still support the businesses and enjoy the the band going on. Um, and I'm sure that they would love if you give them enough. You give mm -hmm. them about 30 minutes, they'll have it ready when oh, you pick yes. it up. Oh yes, oh yes. And uh, they'll they'll do everything they can. If you get over here and you wind up, you're hungry. Run over there and grab something and come back. <laughs> um, that's what we had said. Get we out do. And walk. Exactly. The weather's going to be amazing. Exactly. So just come down here. I know uh, our daughter is is building. I mean, they're reconstructing a house uh -huh. on Coney, and she's so excited because she's like, I can walk, walk downtown. Yes. She said we can walk and have. <laughs> dinner at night and walk back and we and you know you feel like you've you didn't overeat because you you walked it off and she's excited about it yes. she's like you see how the sidewalks i'm like yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she's so funny but it is amazing so yeah. they're just just listening to people who have lived in bigger cities and all and how much this means to them to be able to have this so um, it is it is very very exciting what's going on yeah. um so I also know that there are some other things that go on that down, downtown Dublin mm -hmm. is the sponsor for. Yeah. Um, so um, we you started, I'm sorry. <laughs> no, you've got, some, you've got some things to tell us about there. Yeah, um, we've started this new thing called the Monday Message Series. And it's really a joint effort between um, the Downtown Development Authority and some private individuals. Um, the Monday Message Series is going to be the first and third Monday of every month. It's a 30-minute, really quick, almost devotional type thing, um, non-denominational. So if you want to come and get you know, a refresher on Monday, if maybe you weren't able to make it to church on Sunday, um, this is at the Episcopal Church downtown. Like I said, 30 minutes starting at 12 o'clock. Um, so I think it's a great opportunity. That, that is a great opportunity, and especially for, for those that may, especially with spring and summer coming up, that want to go to the lake on the weekends, <laughs> they can still make. Yeah. And, and still make it on, you know, Mondays and, and Wednesdays, you said? It's just Mo on Mondays. Just it's on Mondays. the first and first third, and third. Monday, yeah. So, see, you can you can arrange to go to the uh, lake house or the beach house on, <laughs> on the Monday and the uh, sun weekends that you don't have that. So, like, on the, the second and fourth weekends, maybe you go to the beach. and <laughs> See, we're working it out for there we you. Go. We're giving you all the opportunities. We're going to yeah. take a break, and we'll be back in just a second. Hi, I'm Brian Millett with Game on Training. Now thanks to Game On Training in Dublin, you can train at a first-rate facility. With over 16,000 square feet of training space, Game On features the right equipment and a knowledgeable staff giving serious athletes and recreational players everything they need to take their game to the next level. Game On offers individual and team packages, monthly memberships are available, and one-on-one -on -one lessons for ages 7 and up. Game On members have access to train 24-7, so don't miss out. Call or come by for the latest information and schedules, and remember... Use your game on and game on! Game on also offers CrossFit DGA with owner Eric Bland. Get the best workout you've ever had with Eric and his staff. 
Join Game On's training today for excellent core strength and conditioning. And get your game on. All right, we are back, and we've been talking about all the great things that's going on in downtown Dublin. And I, I have to say, when we first moved here, downtown was pretty dead. I mean, with the exceptions of, you know, there were some offices and stuff down here, but oh, well, not I a lot of places to shop. I mean, you have, I think you have Ma Hawkins, yeah. and of course you have Pop yeah. Peppercorn, but that was the only place, and they were only open for lunch. Yeah. So, um, when I left for college in 2010, yeah, it was, it was pretty dead. That's really when the downtown renaissance of sorts was starting, and you know, we were seeing new life, but right. I left for college, came back, and it was a completely new <laughs> new thing. I mean, it, exactly. I didn't even recognize it. And I had to get in on it. <laughs> being that you went to Millersville, yeah. um, they have a great downtown area. They do. Mm -hmm. And so you get to see that and mm -hmm. then you come back and you get to see that, that ours is building up and, and how wonderful it is. Yeah. And um, it, It's got to make you a little proud. It especially definitely Especially to be does. a part of yes, it. The yes. way you are. It's so um, exciting. So if you want to enjoy our new downtown area. You don't have to wait till nighttime. I mean, during the weekend, the restaurants are open, the, the businesses are open, you can come shop, you can eat lunch, you can go sit down by the coffee shop. They have a great outdoor area with the fountain and all there. Mm -hmm. It's really pretty. There's a park right across the street. Yeah, Founders Park. It's a really nice um, grassy area where you can just kind of hang out. I saw somebody over there the, the other day with their little girl playing. They had a blanket out and some toys. Mm -hmm. So it's a good green space. It really is. And it's really pretty. Um, and it gives you the opportunity to come out with the family if you yeah. want to. If, if you want to bring the kids down on Saturday and, you know, a look, you've got an older child and a younger child and one of you want to shop a little bit and the other one watch them in the park, yeah. it gives you the opportunity to do that. Mm -hmm. um, and then you can all come together and have lunch and enjoy it. And, yeah. Um, take a picnic out there. Um, I'm sure you can go oh. over to the... To the market. To the yes, market we would love to see you guys having a picnic out. You know, on the bring the lawn. kids <laughs> down during the week during the weekend and, and grab you something to eat and take it over there and have a little picnic and um, enjoy it and you'd be surprised how many people will start doing it because mm -hmm. that's a great picnic area. You don't have to worry about um, some of the uh, bugs you have to worry about when you're down by the water. Because <laughs> yeah. like at our house, we're with the like you, you got mosquitoes all the time. Mm -hmm. Well, we make sure it's fire ant clear. Yeah, so, <laughs> so. that's something right there. Fire ant clear. That's awesome. Um, so, at, tell me at night. I uh -huh. mean, I know that it used to be that people were concerned about safety at night because you're always concerned about safety at night, especially if you're yeah. like going to have a girls' night where yeah. you, the girls want to go out, you want to make sure that if you're walking around downtown it's safe. I yeah. know we have police officers on, oh, on bikes some, now. We have some great police officers who are just solely dedicated to downtown. Right. And and they are so incredible at their job. They're so helpful. We love them. Um, we can't thank them enough for everything that they do. Um, but downtown, yes, completely safe uh, for you and your family. Um, we have some, we have a newly renovated parking space over by the courthouse. I saw that. And we've got another parking project in the mix. Um, so there's tons of parking. It's super easy to find a spot. You might walk a couple minutes to the restaurant, but you'll definitely be able to find parking. And, and we've got some awesome restaurants, too. And you'll be happy you have to walk back after the restaurant because <laughs> they, you will be so full. You'll, you're like, I just need to walk around a minute. So you get the opportunity. But, you know, the parking's not bad. I mean, no. it's it takes you three minutes to walk. Mm -hmm. You know, so yeah. it's it's great parking. I, yeah. I, we haven't had to park anywhere that was that was so far away. We parked at the one over across from Pitts the mm -hmm. other day, yeah. and um, you know you're right there. You yeah. just walk around the corner and the company supplies there. Yeah, you know. So um, I am so impressed with our our restaurants downtown. Yes. Oh my goodness. Yes, we've got um, company supply, Dino's, and my coffee shop are all open for lunch and dinner. Um, they all serve lunch during the week, too, so if you want to come downtown um, to grab a quick bite on your lunch break, like I said, super convenient parking. You'll be in and out so quickly, and your lunch will be top-notch. And you have the, we, our old favorites, the yes, Minute Grill. Yes, Jack's and Minute Grill. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're also open for lunch during the week and on the weekends. 
So, and then I think we have a new Mexican restaurant down there. Mm -hmm. We have Chupacabras, which, which I think gone, is a cool name. Yeah, <laughs> it is a cool name. It's a mouthful. It is. <laughs> it's gone in the old fish market over there across from the skyscraper. Um, and then Rob and Jennifer Schaefer of Dino's have opened Landmark Cafe on the bottom floor of the skyscraper, which is one of my personal favorites. I couldn't, I couldn't pick a favorite because I love them all. I frequent them all too often. <laughs> but Landmark has some super fresh salads and sandwiches it's all made to order um, they have a soup their their food is all um, really fresh and homemade um, and it's healthy it's feel-good food yeah well yeah, that's I have not had a chance to get down to landmark yet we keep saying we're going to but you know we if we don't have um, if we don't get out in time mm -hmm. it's hard to come down and and, yeah. and enjoy it for having to run back so we have to make sure that we get out in time to do that well, a lot of times i take lunch just because it's easier yeah <laughs> well when you go try the pig and hen it's my favorite sandwich and then the market salad is amazing yeah Delicious. I, I, I always look for a place to get a good salad mm -hmm. because i mean even if you if you um feel like you're you're really hungry a salad just hits the spot especially in the summertime mm -hmm. and i'm sure they're going to start having they'll have favorites too like chicken salad Salad, yes. Oh, yeah. All that for sure. Stuff. That's. I look forward to those types of things. Oh, it'd be so great if they made like an egg salad. I love it. They egg have salad egg salad. Sandwich. Do they? It's delicious. I love <laughs> egg salad sandwiches. Yeah. Uh, they're so amazing. I know. I used to get one at Peppercorn. Um, every now and then they mm -hmm. have it. That's. I, that's one thing I have to say. I miss about about um, you know Peppercorn being gone mm -hmm. is that they had the best um, this time of the year. You could get the corned beef and cabbage. Mm -hmm. And it was it was a little spicy, and it was so good. Yeah, it was so good. But I know that we have some great restaurants down there yes. now. I think I've been to just about all of them. You come downtown, you don't have to leave. I mean, no, <laughs> you've you really got everything don't. you need. <laughs> you really don't. And if you come downtown on a on a night when there's something going on at the theater, so you can go eat, you can shop, you get go to the coffee. theater, yeah. get some coffee, um, have some popcorn at the theater. And it's just, it's a lot of, I mean, you could have an entire night. You could start about 2 o'clock in the afternoon on Saturday and finish up around 10. <laughs> I really want to encourage people to go to um, the Theater Dublin website. It's theaterdublinga.com. Um, you're going to see all of the upcoming shows on our website. Um, you can buy tickets online for some of them, not for all of them. Mm -hmm. um, but there's a Buy Tickets Now link under each show if you can buy the tickets online. Um, and all, again, all of this is posted on our social media as well. We have a Facebook page for Theater Dublin, mm -hmm. Downtown Dublin, and Market on Madison. So if you're not, if you haven't liked us on Facebook, be sure to do that. Keep an eye out on our pages for upcoming events. We also have Snapchat and Instagram. Our name on Snapchat and Instagram is Downtown Dublin. Um, and if you're downtown and you happen to take some pictures while you're out and about, be sure to use the hashtag Downtown Dublin. Um, we're really creating a following there, and it's super exciting to see all those pictures in one place. I always say you can come and um, take take advantage of the the market on Saturdays and the first Friday uh, concert in the park and you can post it and people can see all the great yeah. pictures you've taken yeah. and, and what a great time you've had and then maybe your friends you can talk them into coming <laughs> because I think it's of course you're gonna I think you're gonna have to start coming early because I, I, I'm, mm -hmm. I'm thinking it's gonna be pretty pretty booked. Yeah I, I recommend getting there for first Friday concerts I recommend getting there about six o'clock just so you make sure you're you're happy with the spot that you get out on the grass. And that's six o'clock is plenty of time to run home, change clothes, refresh a little bit after work. Right. So that you can come out for the concert and have a good Friday night. And if you have to work a little bit later, then somebody that's coming with you can come and get it and you can meet them. Oh, if you can't be there at six or seven, come on whenever. There will be room. You won't you won't have missed too much. I think people have a fear of that. They don't want to come halfway through and yeah. feel like they're out of the loop. It's not that way at all. The, the crowds that we have at First Friday are awesome. And you have to say you're creating your own loop when you come. <laughs> so see, so you bring you bring your people with you, and then you just mingle with the other people. Mm -hmm. That's how it works. Yeah. <laughs> and you don't don't think you got the, if you have children that they have to sit down and be quiet. They can run around and play and have a ball, and it's not going to bother anybody because sure. they're all there to, to they're have welcome. that. They're welcome. They are right. welcome and wanted. Right. And it's going to be, and just think about it. That way you don't have to worry about it. If you can't get a sitter, bring them down. They'll have a ball. <laughs> if you want it to be just you and your, and your spouse or your, your loved one that night, get a sitter. 
<laughs> and then you bring them the next time. You can rotate it every yeah. other every other month. You come out with your family, and then you come out as a date night. Mm -hmm. It's a great date night. Yes, I agree. So, so now, see, I, I'm expecting next year you guys will be able to offer babysitting. <laughs> I don't know about that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I would love to. I would love to do it, but I'm running around doing all kinds of other things. Yeah. Oh no, you, you have enough to do. <laughs> That's what you bring somebody else on. They get the, okay. they get the babysitting. Charge. I'll I'll throw that one out yeah. there. Bounce the that idea around. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, but I think you know. I think that you're going to see so many things continue to happen, and mm -hmm. I, we're so lucky to have. Not, not only you, but everybody at downtown Dublin office yeah. that's, that's working to, to make things come through. These people work really hard to get the stuff that, to come in so that we can have so many things to do at no cost to anybody and that, that we can have fresh produce and great um, vendors coming in to, to supply these things for us. And without it, we we would still be where we were 25 years ago when I moved here. Yeah. And it, it has changed so much and we're just, we're moving forward and we're, and we're adding so many new things every year that it's just amazing. I, yeah. we, we really appreciate it. I, I'm glad you're enjoying it. And if you <laughs> or anyone else ever has any questions, please feel free to stop by the office. Our office is inside Theater Dublin in the lobby. Um, either Tara Bradshaw or myself, we would love um, to show you some brochures about the architectural walking tour downtown or give you a tip on something to check out for lunch. Um, we're there to help you get involved with downtown and make sure that you're making the most of it. Well, just to recap, we have the Farmer's Market will be open on April 2nd, Saturday, and it is starts at 7.30, 7 to, to 12.30, 12 mm -hmm. and you're going to have all kinds of things going on there. So you're going to have some music, you're going to have places for the kids to enjoy they're themselves while you get some produce. They're going to be taking debit cards, credit cards, EBTs. Mm -hmm. um, there's so much going on there. Don't forget that. We have the first f uh, concert in the park on Friday night on April 1st, and then it's the first uh, Friday of the month after that throughout, throughout October. Through October, yes. And um, so don't forget those. And then we have the um, first mm -hmm. and First and third Mondays mm -hmm. Monday at 12 o'clock for the Monday Message Series at the Epis Episcopal Church. Episcopal Church. Mm -hmm. Did I get it all? You got it all. See, I was paying <laughs> attention. So we are so glad that you came to join Thank us again, you. Jenny. And yeah. I hope that we're going to have you on every month or so oh, so that too. we can keep up what's yes. going on. We can let you guys know what's going on so you can be sure to be a part of it. And um, don't forget that our book this week, I did a book instead of an artist, and the book this week was the, the book Martha. It's a great read. It's about um, Martha, the sister of Mary and Lazarus, and you can see how her life is played out and how she was kind of misunderstood as the person being kind of so set in her rigorous ways that she didn't really get to understand or enjoy Jesus when he was around until she, until he told her, you know, you've got to stop and do it. So it's a great book. You should take it. It's a great read. Um, you guys, don't forget, we're talking about community. We're talking about our, our city. Be a part of it. Come out. and it, You don't have to work yourself silly to be a part of it. Come out and enjoy. Meet other people. There's people out here you may not have seen in years or that you've never met, new people that have moved into the community. Um, it's a great, it's a great time. It's a great sense of community to have the things that we're allowed to have in, in, in downtown Dublin and throughout the rest of Dublin. Um, just come and be a part of it and who knows, you might come down here and think it's a great thing and you might want to stop by and see Jeannie and say, look, I'd love to be a part of something that's going on. What can I do to help? Y'all have a great day and we will see y'all again later. Thanks. Mm -hmm.